It was in January when coronavirus disease 2019 affected Hong Kong. The first batch of confirmed COVID-19 cases was admitted to the Infectious Disease Center, or IDC, at Princess Margaret Hospital for isolation and treatment. 40-year-old Dr. Jackie Chan has been working at the IDC for 15 years. As a seasoned clinician, he has dealt with various infectious diseases, including the human swine flu, avian flu, and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Past experience like this has helped to prepare him and his colleagues to tackle the virus as part of the WET team, medical workers on the COVID-19 front line. I still remember on the first day of my work, uh, it was the Lunar New Year first day, and uh, we have to enter to the patient to see the patient after the protective clothing. We have to set the heparin block to take the blood taking and also to do the electrocardiogram uh, for the patient. I was a little bit nervous at that time. Apart from infectious disease team, we have colleagues from the respiratory team, from gastroenterology, renal team, geriatric, or even some basic trainees. They all volunteered to join uh, the wet team. Since the novel coronavirus outbreak, the IDC adopted an antiviral drug combination strategy to help patients recover more quickly. The regimen includes interferon to help the body's immune system fight infection, protease inhibitor widely used to treat HIV, and ribavirin. Some patients were also recruited to partake in a clinical trial to evaluate the new antiviral drug remdesivir. I remember uh, recently there is a couple, uh, the wife actually got deteriorated after several days of admission and uh, need uh, intensive care uh, unit uh, for transferal. Um, but uh, after uh, we give the patient appropriate treatment, the, the wife, luckily uh, she went back to the general ward and met with her husband. Every day when I saw them, they waved out of their window, saying very cheerful. From that, I can feel my satisfaction uh, for seeing a patient from a severe phase and then back to a recovery phase. And now they are staying happily together in the same room and waiting for discharge. So uh, that is one of my uh, wonderful moments at this uh, outbreak. 31-year-old Aotsi Hin has also been working on the front line during the pandemic. He is particularly concerned about taking the virus home to his loved ones, but is grateful for their continued support. They say nothing, but just ask me, you come to dinner with us frequently. And then I realized that they always leave the chicken next to me. In Hong Kong culture, give you a chicken legs means they appreciate you. So even they said nothing, I know they really proud of me and appreciate me. So I would like to here give special thanks to my family members. Healthcare workers on the front line have been taking care of patients day and night. This is why the installation of an intercom system will greatly help. It will be used in isolation wards to minimize the risk of human infection. We have recently installed uh, an intercom to, to have a speaker uh, outside the, the, the isolation room and then one put inside the, uh, we call the anti-room for gowning and de of the PPE, the protective equipment. Because of these, we can ask the senior staff standing outside the corridor to remind the junior staff inside the anti-room to make sure that the gowning and de procedures are, are being done appropriately to reduce the risk of transmission. To win the COVID-19 battle, Hong Kong needs everyone to continue to do their part by practicing social distancing and good personal hygiene. Those combating COVID-19 on the front line express their gratitude to every individual who refuses to allow the sacrifices of the healthcare workers and others fighting to keep the city virus-free to be in vain. All the Hong Kong citizens, they got a mask with them. Every one of them carry a alcohol hand wipe. I would like to give thanks to Hong Kong people. Since you are so self-disciplined, so you do not make the pandemic even worse.